Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I did these 30 inch passion twists in less than two hours, stay tuned. Shout out to Toyo Trust for sending me these 30 inch crochet passion twists. I really wanted to do a two color style and these ended up being the perfect combo. I received a T1B27 and a 1B. In each pack there were 8 bundles of each color and 10 twists in each bundle. So a lot of hair. Probably wondering how the heck did I do this in 2 hours? Well, the trick in making this install only take 2 hours is the crochet middle part wig from Shake and Go. It is such a time saver and even better than that it's super affordable. First you're going to want to put the cap on your mannequin head and begin crocheting the hair in. Now I would suggest really spacing them out. Overall, I used, I think, two packs of the 27 and then three packs of the black, not including the hair that I used on my leave out. And I'm not going to hold you, it was a bit heavy. I definitely could have gone with two packs of each. Originally, I wanted to do half of one color on one side and half of the other color on the other side, but I thought against it because I don't know how appropriate that would be for work. But I just used the 27 color in the back and the 1B on top for a peekaboo effect. Once I get to the top, I'm crocheting the twist directly to the U part on the wig just to ensure that it is fully concealed. Once I've done the perimeter, then I went back in and filled in the middle. And feel free to try on the wig in the process of doing this because you want to make sure it's not too heavy, which for me it was, so I did go in and remove a few twists. Now this is the part that really took me the longest, the leave out of this hairstyle. I originally wanted to do individual twists, but once I started unraveling the hair and going back to twist it with my own, it just didn't look good and you're definitely going to see that coming up. So I went back to the drawing board and ended up doing the illusion individual crochet method by Mary Kay Bella. And I did use the rubber bands that came with the hair, but I would suggest using regular Annie rubber bands or whatever rubber bands they have at the beauty supply store because the ones they provided just weren't strong enough. They were really weak and broke really easily. Once you have everything sectioned off, you can begin crocheting the twist onto your hair. And I crochet it over the rubber band so that way those sections look even more individualized. Also, it helps keeping that section together if you end up wanting to take the rubber bands out, which I did because some of the rubber bands were just too tight on my hair and I didn't want it to cause any breakage or damage to my hair.
after crocheting the hair, I went ahead and did my baby hairs and my makeup. Now it's time to put the wig on. Like I mentioned before, it was a bit heavy and that was kind of messing up the placement of the clips. So what I had to do was add some bobby pins just to make sure that it was extra secure. This is the final look. I feel like this came out pretty good. Overall, I really, really love this hair. I wanna say it's lightweight, but I can't really attest to that because it's really heavy uh, on this wig, but I don't know how it would be like individually. Maybe I'll get used to it, um, but I don't know. It's it's a little heavy. It's just a little, it's, it's a little heavy. I really, really wanted to do like individual um, passion twists, but it just wasn't, it wasn't happening, <laughs> it wasn't happening. It didn't look the same, so I was just like, you know what, we're just gonna do the easy peasy method and you know, braid it back and you know, just do what it do. Now I still do feel like there's a part like showing in the back, but I'm hoping that it's not as obvious as I feel like it is. Cause I'm just feeling around and it just feels like I could use a little more hair um, in that general area. But I'm gonna go into the mirror um, and see, and you know, just whenever if you guys, whenever you guys do this, just make sure to either get somebody to check or look in the mirror. So I think this part is what's bothering me. If you guys can see it, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but we don't need to look at that too long, anyways. <sighs> this is so quick. Like, if you guys just wanted to do this super quick, I guarantee you, if you know how to braid, if you know how to braid, and you have somebody to help you part, or you're good at parting, this will literally take you like. Hour. No, not hour. Ooh. Two hours tops. Cause to crochet it on took like 30 minutes. To braid down my hair, my, my cousin braided my hair for me, um, took like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then um, to do the middle part, like this part, the connecting, whatever, I don't know what it's called. That took like an hour. So we're at what, an hour and 45? And then to crochet it, 15 minutes. So there you go, two hours, quick, quick, okay? So I am vouching for this this crochet wig cap sensation um, that we got going on because I really am gonna do this to like all my crochet, uh, all of my crochet hair styles that I wanna do is probably gonna be like this because if I don't have to braid or if I don't have to do that much work, that sounds cool to me. All right, so special thanks to Toyo Trust for sending me this hair. Um, as you guys know or may not know, this is my second time working with them and they are an amazing company. Um, totally, totally here for the protective styling. And the link to this hair will be down below as well. As you can see, it's two different colors and honestly, like I kind of wanted to do like half that color half the black but then I thought about it and I was just like if I was to wear this to work I don't think I don't think that would be like appropriate um I don't know I don't know to each his own but I just feel like it looked like really like extra and I don't need to, I don't need the people knowing that I'm extra at work you know I keep that to myself I keep that at home definitely tell me if you try this down below and of course if you like this video thumbs it up Hit that subscribe button plus that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos. And of course, leave some comments down below. Listen, 
y'all ain't been leaving comments and i don't appreciate that let me know if you like this hair let me know what kind of videos you want to see let me know what's tea okay as usual thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys